And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. So far, off to a good start. Again, really just get straight into the, the, the meat of things. So anyway, reverse time. Do, 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 do. Yep. So, what's going to happen? I wonder how many times this will play in a cutscene as well. Nope. I suppose you didn't, again, to be fair, I suppose you did not do that to begin with. Oh, Dimitri's got some really broad shoulders. Like, god damn. God damn. He is up. Oh, here comes. Yeah. Hey, did you just. Do you just. Did you just pull bullshit out of your ass? Oh, hello? More the people. The Knights of Seros are here. We'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. Thanks. <laughs> are running away. Go after them. The students seem to be unharmed. And who's this? Oh, okay. kind of, I don't know. It's like Arthur like, grew a mustache and got a job, a job as a teacher. Uh, why him? Oh, for God, yeah. Uh, bruh. That took five tons, apparently. I was the MVP? Oh, yeah, beat the boss. I was going to say, you know, at least they, you know what? It's good that they tell you who the MVP is. Yeah, and. Oh, 20 minutes, 24 minutes in. Good start so far. Good start so far. Can't complain. Very to the point. Like the, um... Like the overall look of the game. I like the way you can interact. And so far the units seem pretty balanced. It's Alois, your old right-hand man. Well, that's how I always thought of myself anyway. That shoulder thing is so weird. Like, what the actual fuck, man? It's so jarring. <laughs> I always knew you were still alive. And I bet he's like, bro, you get the fuck away from me. A bit, Alois, just as loud as ever. And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. In fact, I'm probably not going to be in this game very long. Mercenary. One who has work to do. He kind of even, he, yeah, he kind of looks like Grell with a beard and a ponytail. Right. Goodbye, Captain. Again, yeah, he looks very fancy schmancy. This ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Garrig Mock Monastery. <sighs> I suppose. All right. that's yeah, it's interesting to see that he does, he's a reluctant to do so because you know monastery is probably like you know the the, the quote unquote empire. Child? Um, I oh that is correct. I'm a bandit. Yeah, that is correct. Is that so? Well, physical differences aside, your mannerisms do remind me of the captain. I, what, the thing I'm really blank faced and say nothing? You will join me, won't you? Maybe. <sighs> What's troubling you, Captain? Jared doesn't want to even you be in this game, so like, could have been a puff of radiance for fuck's sake. Even I wouldn't dare run from the Knights of Saros. I mean my paladin can only go so far. Knights they have weapons. Saros. They do seem rather skilled. How could we tell they haven't done anything? Oh, it seems your presence is required. Get going. Yeah, now hurry along now. I like Sophus already. Still has snark, but you know, just quite charming and very mature. I like her. Now run along. It's like if Sonaki and Tiki had a baby. Beyond question. You're clearly an experienced mercenary. And your father, that would be Geralt, the Blade Breaker? Blade Breaker? What is this fucking Beyblade? Former captain yeah, I remember that. of Saros, oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. Have I missed anything? No, your exposition is pretty good. I didn't know he was a captain. How curious. I'd wager the explanation for that is fascinating indeed. Yeah, that's probably going to add some replay value trying to get, like, um, say the right things at the right time, which is good, which is good. You are coming with us to the monastery, right? Of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Well, let's stay away from me. That the three of us are students of the Officers Academy at Garrig Mock Monastery. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. How? You didn't get attacked once. That would be because you ran off. Yeah, <laughs> you fucking idiot. Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. Everything would have Claude, I oh, I can tell I can tell right now. Claude, I bullshit my way through everything. <laughs> because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. Yeah, Demetrius that just yeah. what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. So I was trying to see the best in you, but uh, wow, you're a dickhead. His intentions were as clear as day. 
You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. Oh, Eligard does not like him. You will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. Oh, yes. D is this going to be nice? For Dimitri's the nice middle ground. I like it. I like it. Between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable So obviously you've got two extremes, too laid back, too serious, and the middle ground. But it's gonna be interesting Personally, how they change via time trust. I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Me, naive. Tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? I do like that they've established already they're not exactly the best of friends. They're just, you know, they work together, but they have their differences. And I like it when there's free lords, it makes for a good dynamic. And I like that they have established personalities and they're not too extreme. Like, Bailiff is serious, but she's not overly serious. Claude is chill, but he's not like annoyingly chilled. And Dimitri, even though he is the middle ground, he's not bland. I like that. It's good. Is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. I might as well tell you now. I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empires. And cut. <laughs> Please allow me to finish my own proposition. Yeah, I, I want to talk first. Argus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Please, do consider returning to the kingdom with me. Whoa there, you two sure are hasty. Trying to recruit someone you just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. Well, is that the Sapphire Emblem tradition? Personally, planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. Hmm. But it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? Hmm. It seems one's place of birth Okay, is so that's a bit weird. They're throwing you literally right into this before you I mean, granted, you know granted, you know, you do know the characters and all their stuff, but you don't know much about the kingdoms or anything. You're just kind of thrown into it. Not a bad sign, but I would have liked if you got to the monastery first and maybe met some of the students then decided, but at the same time, you know, at least they did establish Elagard and Fingers. It's not like you just literally straight off the gate and they didn't drag it out. So, personally, I think they should have taken a note out of Fate's book and perhaps, you know, maybe let it um, play out a bit more, see a bit more of both of all sides, but for it, well, you know, whatever it is, we're going with the Black Eagle, so let's just do that. Yeah. <laughs> a wise choice. Though the Empire has fallen from its former glory, the other regions are merely offshoots that pale in comparison. Oh, someone's certainly full of herself. All right, that's enough with the small talk. It's time to okay. head back to the monastery. Okay, interesting. Elagard, she's cool and all, but she's also she's kind of pompous. Again, Elagard ain't fucking around. My my, they are in such a hurry. You know, each of the three is most unique. Most unique indeed, and you know I'm like it. Yes, Elagard. So yeah, just get something, yeah, evaluating. Yeah, darkness, yeah. Ah, oh, so obviously, okay, so with Claude, he looks nice, probably doesn't care underneath. Um, Elagard is like, wait, do probably doesn't trust you. And Dimitri, trying to be optimistic, but yeah, thing. Subtle, mm, subtle. Someone give that child some coffee. Oh god, I'm shot to yours for some reason. Mm. Good lord. Okay, yeah, save. Yeah, obviously save because, you know. Part one. White clouds. Ooh, part one. Tree moon. I wonder how many parts this game will be. Minimum two. Anyway. Let's see what's next. The oh, backstory. Winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter. Ooh, nice the artwork. fields once again spring to life across Fodland, heralding the start of a new year. As they Ooh. celebrate the dawning year, the people pray. Yeah, the artwork looks a little more cartoony in a good way, though. A tiny like again, like of the Middle Age period, where the artwork was kind of abstract, very abstract. But I like that. It really embraces its time period. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. 
three ruling powers now. Again, sorry if I'm a bit quiet, it's just I'm listening and reading the dialogue, so I can't I wanna say too much. Alright, so we're in the south. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the holy kingdom of Fargus. I wonder if that's where it's like cold, because it says frigid. And its nights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. That is the smallest. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodland and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. What about that shadowy place? That's beyond our borders. No, that's the DLC. You must never go there, Simba. Anyway, off we go. Oh, yeah, now they put the fingers in there. Or at least I think, I'm pretty sure. Because I remember in the first one, didn't seem to be there. This will be your first time at the monastery. Again, this looks 2D animated, which I like. To show you around. It really is Fodlin in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. God, this guy... <laughs> Sorry, Byleth just doesn't emote at all. Which, again, it's odd considering it's fixed dialogue options. You'd think that you'd do more. And again, going to be featuring cutscenes. This is a little jarring. I can't... Obviously, I'm not bashing Byleth like as he was a bad character. I haven't ascertained anything. It's just... It feels a bit weird when you're given dialogue options and you're interacting a lot and you don't say anything. It's odd to say the least. It doesn't it isn't even very expressive, but again, I'm, you know, I'm just I'm just seeing it for what it is at the moment. Oh, the little candles. Nice. Mm, mm, top of water. Use that magic. Oh, yeah, jiggle physics. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you know. We don't even hear what she's saying. But again, jiggle physics. <laughs> no, even, oh, apparently everyone has a dagger, but then again, you would do. Oh, I am visually disturbed by this. I love she just jumped. Ah! <laughs> Catch me! Hmm. I detect... Flow of time bring you here. Oh shit, she's onto me. And even like, yeah, even, I've said this before, but the loading screen's cute. It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now. Uh... Voice sounds familiar, but I love the really, 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 um, what you call it? What a um, really dour and just like down tone he's got. Her? <laughs> You saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop, Lady Rhea. That's the one. So yeah, he said right something of the Archbishop. As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlan are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. The yeah, we're very big religious community. This organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Thank you for your patience, Jeff. My name is Sethith. I am an advisor. <laughs> Sethith. What it? Alright, just no, Seth, Seth, take off the damn wig. Never! <laughs> Shit, they're on to me. Hello. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder. Yeah, she kinda looks like again like an older version of the same dragon person. Like Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since well, I'm curious about why he you know, didn't bother serving them. So I see. And how he's able to escape the that long. Of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? Yes. Born many years after I left this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child, but I'm afraid we lost her to illness. Classic, classic, because the healthcare and fire emblem fucking sucks. I see. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? My name is... Yeah, uh, hi! My name is... A fine name indeed. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officers' Academy. Even though in hindsight they probably could have been fine by themselves. Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? <laughs> you want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... But... Apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now. But I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until tomorrow, 
Farewell. You know, it's just really, the father's attitude is interesting because he really does you can tell he doesn't want to be there. Uh, I can't believe it. Forced back into the Knights of Seros. Well, you weren't exactly forced, you just kind of went along with it. Uh, I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. You know, three houses really does throw you into things, so I wonder how we're gonna learn more about this as the game goes along. Oh finally you get some dialogue. As a servant? Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. You heard those. But I don't even speak <laughs> talking about the officers' academy, right? Well, the academy just happens to be short of professor. Just the one? Well, I'm pretty sure you can find one elsewhere. Went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. So you must be the Oh new my professor. god. My, how stern and handsome you are. Okay, well, Manuela is certainly very womanly. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You can handle things from here. So I was talking to him in the first place, dumbass. And watch out for Lady Rhea. Ooh. I don't know what she's thinking, making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. You know we can still hear you. Uh <laughs> Oh, it's you then? So young. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated, as you well know. I appreciate that. A crest scholar and professor at the officer's academy. Hanuman. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. I'm Why not just well, what do I never visit? I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and I can be anything you want me to be, baby. It's nice to meet you. You're a songstress? Of course. Before I came here, I belonged to a renowned opera company. Again, but facial expressions are very good. The Middle Franc Opera Company is beautiful, peerless. Spare our colleague the needless chatter. It's like, for God's sake, I went there and I was not impressed. <laughs> it was just kind of eh. It seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? No, they forced me to pick. No? Fine. I'll do you a favor and explain. Why do I get the feeling this should have come first before we get to pick? The Officer's Academy is comprised of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Technically it should be the Red Eagles, but I'll go Their with it. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. And that sounds awesome. Because again, power is sexy. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Their house leader this year is... Again, I love the more modern take on the character designs. Again, he's just like the wet the coat he's wearing and stuff like that. And her, her like fur bit. And yeah, her fur coat and all that jazz. Just looks a little way more modern and stylish. I really like it. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. To think that the next Emperor, King, and Sovereign Duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the Academy. <laughs> and then no, all the players have got to the time scale are like, oh, 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 oh. I'll say, I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. If they do, I'll just let them die. <laughs> for now, I suggest taking a stroll around the Academy to get your bearings. And when you've a moment, please stop by my research laboratory. The old man has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more. Oh, so the students don't know. I suggest you try spending time what? with the students. Some odd ducks in that bunch, but they're good kids. What about you go to approach them and they think you're a stranger, so they stab you? Did you ever think about that? Hmm? Did you ever think about that? Oh, and that thing in the that stained glass window in the background is really pixelated. Good lord. Have you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy is... Motherfucker, are you questioning me? I have me? made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Gerald's flesh and blood, after all. But he doesn't even emote. Say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Gerald character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. 
Yeah, yeah. Maybe he's like the one who's asked you to prevent this all along. I have no idea. Let that be enough for you as well. More nah, I don't want it to be. I, I, well, I get the feeling he's just jealous. About a matter regarding our suspicious individual. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mock. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing Is this the same Rhea from the... No, because again, they look different. So I was wondering if it's the same person from the beginning, but I have no idea. Please don't spoil whether or not she is or isn't. isn't. Sorry. I guess there's only one way to find out, and that's to play the game. Okay, so I don't know how much of this I'm going to explore because again, I don't want to obviously do. I want to see as much as I can, but obviously I've still got to get moving. So I'm curious. Oh yeah, I reckon the the load time will be long when you're loading the entire monastery because again, you've got a lot to do. So that makes sense. Oh no, it's a cutscene. It seems. Ah, oh, oh, fucking score bells. Again, what's with the weird frame rate chugging? I have several. Yeah, I have questions about that. All right, that's the golden deer. So this is an exclusive to Thingy Pathways. It's just yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I fucking love her face. She's just like, why am I here? Why am I here? Why am I here? I see dead people. Oh, apparently Elagar can use magic. Cool. <laughs> He's just <laughs> staring intensifies. Hmm. Okay. Oh god. Oh, and of course. <laughs> why did I look like that? Oh, they look like they look like the the blue ones look, look the youngest and the most innocent. Motherfucker, don't touch me! Oh, yeah. Blue lions look the most innocent. <laughs> Sorry, blue lions are innocent. Black eagles have intense stares, and the golden deer see dead people. <laughs> oh lord, this is going to be fun. Lots and lots of fun. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to call it a wrap for now. I didn't actually get to pick in the house. I thought I would this part, but you know, we've got a lot more to do. So when we next come back, we will explore the monastery. We will see what this hub world is like. We will get to know our students and we will finally choose our allegiance. Until then, thank you all very much for watching. We'll see you all next time. Take care and have a wonderful day.